I knew that I, I didn't want to leave the game. The, the time spent with, uh, with the team is important, and I think I enjoyed that. You know, I grew up in Chula Vista, California. It's a, it's a good, good spot to grow up. You know, I pretty much spent uh, my days in the driveway playing basketball, kicking the ball against the garage, uh, much to my parents' dismay as I broke the garage and lights and many things around uh, often. I was born with an atrial septum defect, which is basically a hole in your heart. Um, it's uh, just something that occurs at birth, and they didn't find it until I was five or so. Uh, <clears throat> so it was great that they found it. I was able to have uh, basically that surgery repaired. I haven't seen a doctor for you know, 20 plus years. Well, uh, probably more than that, probably uh, 30 plus years now. So uh, all is fine with that, and, uh, and everything's good. I couldn't really play until after a heart surgery, but when I was about six, I started playing and just picked it up. I was more, uh, I guess, uh, technically solid as a, young, as a youngster and kind of kept that as I got taller. The recruiting was a lot different in those days. We're being recruited during our senior year, as opposed to many kids who are making decisions earlier this, this, this time of year, this, this, this era. Uh, but, you know, San Diego State was a big school. They were in the Final Four, uh, you know, probably two years before I went there, so they're very solid soccer-wise. It was an easy spot for me to, to go to. I got a little bit lost and struggled a little bit academically my first semester. There was a, there was a better opportunity academically and soccer-wise at University of San Diego, which was just uh, probably about 10 miles away. So just across town to a smaller private school uh, allowed me to, to probably be a little more disciplined and focused in my academics. I also knew a number of players that were, uh, that were attending there. I think having a successful senior year there, um, I guess I turned a, a few heads you know, in that aspect and was able to get drafted. And, after a very disappointing junior year, to be honest, where I, uh, <laughs> I broke my leg, my hand, and my collarbone in, the, in that season. So, you know, I broke my hand playing basketball right before the season. It kind of started off the, started off a, a difficult junior year. So, um, you know, the senior year, be able to come back, rebound, and have a strong year and, uh, you know, and get noticed. Professional soccer was a lot different in 1992 when I was just finishing school. Um, MLS hadn't started. Uh, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity out, outdoors, so I started the season indoors, went over on a trial in Belgium and, and stuck in Belgium for about six months, and uh, you, know, you had professional players, and you know, there, was, there, was a, there was a guy on our team who played in three World Cups, you know, so the experience level of that team was very good, and, and it was a high level, um, you know, and, and we were taken care of as far as uh, athletes, you know, you know, as far as our e equipment, meals, and things like that, you know, it was just all first class. Yeah, when I was playing professionally, you know, I, I, I knew that I, I didn't want to leave the game. I think I enjoyed, you know, part of the, you know, just the, the environment. I think being around the, the athletes and, you know, uh, the camaraderie and the, the time spent with, uh, with the team is important, and I think I enjoyed that. Kelly, my, my old boss, Kelly Cagle, you know, she was, uh, she had uh, put some years in at the program here, and her husband was her assistant, Dan Cagle, and, you know, they, it was a little bit challenging for them, so they, they, they had a, you know, a family decision where Dan, you know, got out of coaching, and an opportunity opened up as an assistant here. Just a huge opportunity to be at Virginia Tech, and just the opportunity to be in, in the ACC and to help develop and grow the program was, was, was what, you know, made my decision. She was uh, building the program at the time, and you know I think it, it wasn't an easy time for the program. I think they were trying to grow, you know, from a couple conference changes, you know, and, um, <clears throat> from the A10 to the Big East to the ACC, and there's jumps within that, you know. So I think we were trying to grow as a program, and you know she was focused on the uh, uh, on the small steps and, and the, the positives that we had done each game, each week, each day, even. You know, Sharon McCloskey and, and Mr. Weaver, you know, met with me and discussed, uh, you know, the opportunity for me to, to kind of take over and. And it, it was something I, I, I was real happy with, to be honest with you, and, and, and delighted with the opportunity. I think the toughest part is just, um, you know, trying to balance all the aspects of, of the program. You know, I think, you know, as a head coach, you're, you're, you're probably involved in every aspect and, and making sure everybody understands their role and how they can get better and how they can fit within the program is, is the toughest part. You know, the most satisfying is just trying to see the girls put all, the, all their effort forward uh, in the match and, and the team come together. and. and and get results or, or try to get results. I think there's only 28 programs that have been in the Final Four in women's soccer in the, in the history of, 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 of women's soccer in the NCAA. So, you know, that's pretty special for us, being that we were able to get there. I was really proud of the girls and the, 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 their whole effort continued throughout the year. So I was proud of them and, and the effort they put forward. You know, I think you've got to be open to listening and seeing what's going on around you. I think sometimes being quiet uh, and, and understanding what other player, you know, coaches might be doing or 
um, being more of a sponge and kind of receiving some information, whether it's a training or watching games, trying to see what coaches are doing or, or players are doing, you know, as opposed to try to, to, to impact always right away vocally, just try to be more, uh, you know, sponge-like and receive information and try to, try to you know, I guess, calculate in your mind what, what's working, what's not, why things are done and, and that aspect. It can be challenging, you know, managing a, you know, a family with, with, uh, with the job because it is 24-7 as far as things go. So, you know, I've been I've remarried with, with Shelby Lynn, who, who coaches volleyball, and that's been huge for me. Um, she's been a you know, significant part of, of, of my life, you know, here at Virginia Tech, you know, as I move forward and, and through things. And, you know, managing a coaching, you know, two dual coaches can be challenging sometimes for both of us. But I think it's been important for us that, uh, you know, I think when people ask us, you know, both of us went to Virginia Tech, I think it's about, it's a family here in the culture of Virginia Tech. And um, I think that's huge for us uh, that we see in, when we're out on the road, you know, when we're, we're with the team, recruiting, things like that, people are always like, go Hokies, go Hokies, wherever you're at. Personally, I think I, I've had a lot, a lot of things go for me on the soccer side, and I wasn't a five-star athlete, you know, coming out of, out of high school, so just trying to, to play at, a, at Division One and make an impact and grow and, and be able to learn and adapt to the environment and persevere through situations there, you know, I think it's important. Um, you know, after a few injuries as well, persevering through my, my pro career and, and playing as long as I could, you know, I think um, was important for me. Um, you know, I think in, in college coaching as well. You know, I think you spent I spent probably 10 to 12 years as an assistant coach, bouncing around different programs, different levels. You know, men's, women's game, just trying to grow and and, and develop my coaching aspect as well. So I think perseverance is important.